Ralph, here we are in, in your home country. Uh, how beneficial for you has is, is this training camp been so far? Yeah, we have uh, fantastic uh, sur uh, surrounding. We have here a wonderful pitch and uh, the hotel is great and uh, the weather is also beautiful, a little bit warm, but uh, I think in England in the moment it's also not cool. So <laughs> uh, we, we have fantastic conditions here and this is good. As well as the training, is it useful for you to see the players in a different environment, especially the new players as well? You know, for the new players it's important that we are together here for a whole week uh, doing also things beside the pitch, what we want to do and uh, they are eating together three times a day, uh, spending time together. I think this is always helpful for the new players to, to find uh, their way in the team. Yeah, it's obviously a good chance for these new players to, to integrate into the squad. When you're looking at recruitment, how much do you look at a player's personality and their character as well as their footballing ability? Yeah, this is meanwhile also a very important topic, but uh, the most important thing is that the quality on the pitch is there. And, uh, uh, but uh, it always helps when it's from the character fitting to our team and uh, this is what we are looking at first. We know that there's a, a real identity that you've built on the pitch with Southampton, but are there attributes and, and personality traits with a player that are, are must-haves when you look at those? The ability to work hard on the pitch, I think, is, is definitely necessary, but this is not only for us necessary, this is for every Premier League club necessarily. Meanwhile, uh, there is no club around there where you can walk around and, and wait for the ball. Uh, our game starts when we, when we are not in possession, so um, this is something of a quality you should have when you want to come and, and, and play for us. Um, the rest is then up to us to learn the guys uh, to adapt to our game, to our special way of defending in some moments. And, and uh, when they do this, then we have, we have uh, hopefully uh, a benefit for our team. And for you as manager, decisions will have to be made daily. When you make them, whether it's you know, transfers, tactics or, or anything else, how do you approach making a decision? Is it as simple as either going with your gut? No, it's easy for every player to show up in every session. And the preseason is there for, for showing in what shape you are and uh, grabbing your chances. You have a lot of uh, preseason games where you can show up. And uh, in the end, uh, in the first round, uh, the guys they should have done the best in the, in the preseason should get the chance to play. We can see behind you the, the incredible landscape that we, we have here. And I know you've spoken a lot about how much you love having the opportunity to, to come home and, and be in the mountains with your family. Did you get the opportunity to, to do that this summer? Yeah, uh, but uh, the five weeks are, are not uh, so, yeah, so long and you also have to work in this time because the transfer uh, period is, is is there and, and then you have to, to have a lot of other things to do. So it was not one day where I wasn't working a little bit. So uh, it's not really a, a long break or it doesn't feel really, really like a long break. And now in the preseason, it's, it's, it's good to have, to have this situation here that we are with the team here, that you, you have your new stuff around uh, and uh, that we can work together. When you have your, your time with your family, how important are they for you in terms of being able to switch off and enjoy that family time that you get? Yeah, it's always the most important thing in life. Uh, me and my wife, we are in England all the time and, and when we are coming home, we, we want to at first uh, see our kids and uh, how they're doing. And uh, meanwhile, uh, you are always in contact with, with, with WhatsApp calls and everything, but it's something different if you see him personally. And, and support him, uh, the, the kids, and, and uh, yeah, this is what we, what, we, what we like to do when we have off. When you're in England with, with your wife, how do you keep in touch with, with your children and, and how regularly do you get the opportunity to do it? Daily. Try to phone them. When they're available, then talk to them. <laughs> Sometimes uh, it's, it's, it's hard to, to, to catch them, but uh, yeah. It is, they, get, they, they do their life and they do their job and, and you have to, to do yours. How important is it for you that, you know, with your wife especially and, and your family, that they, they understand the position you're in and the demands of your job? Yeah, I think it is, it, it becomes normal with, with the time because they know it and uh, they, they've grown up with the fact that, that uh, uh, this is a special job that your father has. And, and uh, I mean, my wife is with me since I'm 17. She went through all the times of my life when I was playing uh, football or, or managing teams so she's uh, she has developed herself like I did myself and uh, as, as everything you you learn in your life everything you you see makes you yeah, to, 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 to the person you are 
and uh, we, are, we are happy with the, with the life we could live so far. Monday is going to be, I imagine, a, a special occasion for you. Obviously, Patrick is, is going to be lining up against your side. Have you, have you had this kind of situation before? No, never, no. Sure, interesting, yeah. Uh, it would be interesting for me outside also when, when there's something happening on the pitch, for how I react, uh, supporting my team. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange, but, uh, yeah. Will not come that often, I think, in life, but you never know. And uh, yeah, would be sure an interesting day for me. Yeah, <laughs> it's the ideal situation, perhaps a Southampton win, but Patrick manages to to get on the <laughs> score sheet at some stage. No, I always want to have clean sheets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you going to be speaking to Patrick before the game, or is it going to be put to bed until until afterwards? Not about football. I think we will speak tonight. So uh, about other things, maybe. Uh, but we we have every day we we talk together. Yeah. Um, once we're back in England here from Austria, um, there's a really high caliber of, of opposition that we're playing before the start of the Premier League season. Was that a, a conscious thing that you wanted to, to really test yourselves? Absolutely, because it makes sense when you see our first five games in the Premier League, uh, what uh, teams are coming up there and how tough it is there. So it's always good to have in the preseason also teams they show you some weaknesses in your in your shape, and and uh, this is the reason why we try to have high-quality opponents in the pre-season because this is important for us. Is it a, a bit of a balancing act in pre-season? Moy, after the game yesterday, for instance, was saying, you know, creating goals, scoring goals is good for confidence, but as you say, you, you want to test yourselves against really high opposition. No, it was a very, very good first test yesterday, I must say, uh, against a team that is known for good quality. So, so um, it, was a, it was exactly the test I wanted to have. Uh, um, and. Uh, it's much better to have a test where you are, uh, yeah, maybe not winning, but uh, don't win 8-0 eight, eight against somebody. It doesn't tell you anything. Yesterday, this, this test gives me much more to work with, much more to analyze, much more to, to, to look at in the next sessions. And this is for me much more important. It's three weeks or just under until that first game at, at Tottenham now. Is there a point in your mind where you think you would be happy with pre-season and the preparation or does that preparation go pretty much right up to kick-off at, at Tottenham? You know, at first I think we, we, we still have to bring some players in, we know this. And uh, especially uh, yeah, on the position in the up front, for example, where we lost players, uh, it's, it's, it, everybody knows that we, we need to do something there. And uh, the earlier they come, the better it is because the, the better you can implement them in the team. But uh, yeah, for, for us, I think uh, so far we have we could we could work quite good with the team, and uh, now the games are coming up, and this is the the the, the final preparation for a, for a tough season. Is recruiting for a striker potentially the, the hardest position? I imagine you know every team wants a, a twenty goal a season striker. When you say hardest with uh, the most expensive one, then yes. <laughs>